will discuss about how to practice retinoscopy with retinoscopy simulator. Requirements Best if you have laptop, but if you don't have any laptop, then you can practice with mobile also. For mobile, use Google Chrome browser for better experiment. How to find retinoscopy simulator? There are two way to find retinoscopy simulator. Way 1. Click the link in the description. Retinoscopy simulator will open automatically. Way 2. Type retinoscopy simulator in Google search box and press enter. You will find several simulator in search result. Click on retinoscopy simulator by American Academy of Ophthalmology. This is the best one to practice retinoscopy. After opening the website, click on launch retinoscopy simulator. Then click on start. After clicking on start, retinoscopy simulator will open and they will guide you how to use this simulator. You can skip all this and directly move into practice mode. Two interfaces are there, one is explore and another is test. In explore mode, you can put the refractive error manually and neutralize this refractive error using the trial lenses. And in the test mode, they will give you a patient. You won't be able to know the refractive error of the patient and you have to identify the refractive error. Here, you can choose the refractive error of the patient manually. If you click top button, it will give plus power or plus trial lenses. And if you click bottom button, it will give minus trial lenses. Same for the spherical as well as cylinder. Here, you can choose the orientation of the axis. Here, you have to choose your working distance power. Here, you can choose the angle of the streak. To find the principal meridian. Here you will use trial lenses to neutralize the patient's refractive error. Here you will get spherical trial lenses to neutralize one meridian. If you click on the top button it will give plus spherical trial lenses and if you click bottom button it will give minus spherical trial lenses. Here you will get cylinder trial lenses. At the top button it will give plus cylinder trial lenses and the bottom button it will give minus cylinder trial lenses. Here you can change the axis or angle of the cylinder trial lenses. Here patient refractive error will be there both in plus cylinder form and minus cylinder form so that you can compare your result with the patient refractive error. You can get an idea whether you have done right or wrong. In the test mode, they will give you a new patient each time. You have to identify the refractive error of the patient using this simulator. You have to write the power to neutralize this patient in these boxes. In the top box, you have to write power in the minus cylinder form. And in the bottom box, you have to write the power in the plus cylinder form. That means the power you got from this patient, you need to do simple transposition also. And you have to write both plus cylinder and minus cylinder form into these two boxes. You have to place your working distance power here that is normally 1.5 diopter but you can use any working distance that you want to use. Here you can choose the angle of your retinoscopy streak to find the principal meridian. You can click on the top button to increase the axis and you can click on the bottom button to decrease the axis. After finding the principal meridian, you have to neutralize this patient using the trial lenses from this box. Here you will get spherical trial lenses to neutralize one meridian. If you click top button, it will give plus spherical trial lenses and if you click bottom button, it will give minus spherical trial lenses. Here you can use cylinder trial lenses to neutralize other meridian. If we click on the top button, it will give plus cylinder trial lenses and if we click on the bottom button, it will give minus cylinder trial lenses. Here you can change the angle and axis of the cylinder trial lenses. If you click on the top button, it will increase 5 degree and if you click on the bottom button, it will decrease 5 degree. After neutralizing the patient, 
Type your results in minor cylinder form into the top boxes. and in plus cylinder form in the bottom boxes. Then click check answers to check the power you got after neutralizing the patient is right or wrong. After finishing this patient, you can get another patient just by clicking on the button new patient. In the next video, I will discuss about how to practice cross retinoscopy using this simulator. Till then, stay with us and study optometry smartly.